Yo, what it do, man? This is Grind Face and the Therapist, man. I'm Demetrius. And Sunia. We've been together for 28 years, married for 23, 24, but who's counting? But this is episode 22, and we're going to get on the topic of love language. Like, what is love Hold language? Hold on. I got to ask you, though, when I did my intro with my name, why you look at me like that? Because it was cheesy, but go ahead. <laughs> what's what's the love language? It's like, I hear people say... um. In, in order to express your love, you got to know your mate's love language. What and what is that? Explain to the people what is love language. How you receive love. So there's different types of love language. There's acts of service um, where someone does things for you. Um, let's say, for example, taking out the trash, cleaning up, okay. uh, making dinner. Um, then you have words of affirmation. You know, you're beautiful. I love you. Yeah, that's not my. You're I, a great I, yeah, person. I hate all talk. That's that uh, talk. You're doing great. And then you have quality time where a person likes to spend time. That is where they get fulfilled. Then you have, I just forgot words of gifts. Affirmation. Gifts. Yes. Where a person likes gifts, words of affirmation, gifts, quality time. What else did I say? Um, You said time, gifts, um, service and some other shit. So that's to show how much I was paying attention. Y'all sorry. But um my 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 love language is I wanna say I I, I really it's a jump. I don't know. I, I appreciate the acts of service, but I most definitely don't like the work the talk. The talk okay, shit hold is because yeah. I, I forgot. So I had to look it up real quick. I'm like, how did I forget that? Physical touch. And it's when like um affection. I like that. Well, like, I like that physical touch. Rub my back. You know what I'm saying? Rub my feet. I think the physical touch is more being intimate with a person than, than talking. So what's your love, love language? I didn't then? finish. And communication is a love language oh, as well. Communication is a love language? Yeah. So my love language, honestly, well, you let me, what is my language? I want to see, what is my love language, Demetrius? You, if you want to have one, I say communication. <sighs> Yes, you can't have multiple love language. If we well, could a, you have lo- multiple love language? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you could, but there's always one that's higher than other or two that go side side and side. So, besides communication, what would be the next? Spending quality time. Ding 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 ding. Yes, that is my love language, because I feel like gifts is cool, right? You could buy me stuff. I like. That's great. I like personalized gifts i didn't finish yes but I, I just let it be out there personal not just going i could go buy me something but if you take the time and really put thought in the gift is what i like which is very frustrating with you true but hey but this is the thing so gifts i feel like gifts are great but i think i could buy myself gifts right um and i feel like i don't know i feel like in relationships Gifts are not a well, I guess it's a sacrifice if you don't have it to buy it. But I feel like if you give me money, I can always give you your money back, or you can always make that money back. True. I think true um commitment for me is quality time because if you give me your time, you can't get that back. Well, that's it's a like sacrifice. you saying you being stingy. It's no, like, why no, no, would you no, want no, to no. take okay, something listen, that they can't give back? Because it's like when you value a person. Okay, for example. You make I, time for who you love. Yeah, because if I give you money and it's not really, I have it to give. It's not really a sacrifice, right? It's not really True. something I really care about because I have it. Like show up. Yeah. I want you to show up. I think when you value people, you invest time in them, right? Because it's like, you sp- unless you just don't care about your time. But if you're selective with your time. You know you only have certain many hours in a day, right? And so you're you're conscious of how you spend that. So if I give you my time, that really means I value something about you to get because if I didn't, I wouldn't give you my time. And when you say give your time, like what do you mean give your time? A phone call, a lunch date? What what do you Okay, you gotta think of it like this. In any okay, time? in any relationship, in any re in any relationship, do you think it would survive without time? No, that's why long distance relationships I don't think really work because you know. I think a long distance relationship is time if they're getting on the phone, if they're still but what I'm saying is you would never be able to build any type of relationship with anyone without time. Yeah, but you know, time. Let's look because the time say you you both at home, both in the same room, 
y'all together. You, some people would consider that time, but if y'all are not communicating and spending time, that's not really time. You're just de- there. Yeah, it depends on how it's spent. Because you can live in a house with someone and not and have no connection. You could be around 10 million people and still feel alone. So no, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying really invest in time, but you didn't answer my question because it actually made me think when I asked you the question, because you can't really build a relationship with anyone without investing time. And to me, that's a sacrifice because it's something you can't get back. But it's time. Time is a love language. What you're saying? Quality time. Yes. Quality time. So you would consider um, everybody must like quality time. No, everybody's love language is not quality time. But so how would they, they work? Is it, that's what I'm saying. I guess the first step in a relationship is, is find finding out their love language. But this is what because comes- I know you. If I bought you flowers, that don't mean shit. I just no, wasted my money. You definitely, you know what I'm saying. So money. it's like it's just wasting, and it's you might feel like, oh, I bought her flowers every week. But if that's not her love language, you just wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's you're wasting your time. I think it's the person. For me, it's the thought. Like even if a person bought me a gift. To me, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it, you know, it, it was from the heart. Because, but I personally don't like flowers because I think it's a waste of money. Um, because they're gonna die eventually, right? Um, so for me, just like some of y'all relationships, bing, that's a coin. That's not a coin. And I'm in control <laughs> of the board today because Mr. Mayo got a hip surgery, so he can't move around much. Mm-hmm. So I could not, you know, do stuff like this when he doesn't say something like how he always do See, me. I, I can corny, do it back. Corny sound I, know, effect. I know. Like yeah, that wasn't even. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was. This one. It was this one. Yeah. It was this one. <laughs> But anyways, no. So everybody has a different love language. And I think the problem in relationships comes in when a person doesn't know how they want to receive love. And another problem comes in when people love how they want to be loved. But just because you like gifts does not mean that's the way I want to be shown love. And that's what people do. So I like quality time. So I'm going to give other people quality time. But that may not be what they like. I agree. So like normally it's like I'm buying you gifts, but your, your, your love language is time. So right. it's like, it's just wasting my time. Right. Well, I think if you, if you be with somebody, you should figure out what their love language is. But what is. if they don't know their love language? I mean, is that the, the mates, the other person problem? If they confuse well, and you, don't know what, how they receive love? Well, that's what I said. You need to first figure out how you receive love, but that's a personal journey. And if we want to get technical and get deep, you know, even though it's something we didn't do, I think you should know who you are in every aspect before you even enter into a relationship. Um, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Know yourself a hundred percent before you move, attach yourself to somebody else. I mean, I think you are. Most of the time that don't happen like that though. Most of the time it it doesn't because we haven't been taught that. Um, It's not something that is taught. It's something that I preach to my kids. Like don't have kids, you know, and don't get married until you know yourself. And I believe that because if you're a broken person, you're just going to be raising broken kids. And I think many times at 20 years old, you don't know who you are. You, you, you're not, you you're haven't even scratched. Yeah, you're still yeah. trying to figure out. And I'm not saying that's everybody because it's not age, it's mindset and everyone is different. But developmentally, most likely at 20, it's like, who are you? Most people don't know that question. If I ask, and I do it all the time, I will ask someone, what is your purpose? They can't answer that question because the only way you can answer your question is if you know who you are to know your purpose in life. I mean, shit, I still don't know my purpose. I'm still fishing around trying to hit hit, hit something. And we can see the, de- the, the, the deficits. Yeah. But let's go on services because I think it's a sacrifice for a person because you say acts of service. Most people don't want to do acts of service. And if your partner really liked that, I feel like. That, that that person could be taking a burden of trying to satisfy the other person of doing acts of service. What do you mean? Like if um if I ask you to constantly rub my feet, massage me, it's like I'm working the slave. You know what I'm saying? And that person really start feeling a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? And, um, what they call that word? Envy, not envy, Res- but resentment. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because they trying to this is their love language, but they really hate doing the shit. So you, do you feel like that relationship will work or is it, they just should run as they, they could? What? I just feel like that's where communication comes in because if someone is doing something you don't like, I think at some point you should tell them, um, you know, 
that's not something I enjoy. But then it also goes to, it depends on the person. Cause I'm just like an A for effort. Like I may not like a gift, but I would never be demeaning or, you know what I'm saying? It's the thought that counts. You know, sometimes somebody buys you something. It's not something that you would like, uh, likely use or you really care about, but because it's, you know, but if the person keep repeating it and repeating well, it, it's like, it's damn, only, man, I don't, I told you I don't like, then you gotta be like, man, I don't like this shit. Well, so, well, that's not the person's fault that's doing it because they don't even know that you don't like it. It's the person's fault that not communicating. Correct. It because if you I, look with me, I set the stage from the gate with people. And I, and I really believe that the older I get, because if you're not telling someone what bothers you or you dislike, then how it, do they know? And so at that point, they're not the problem you are. And actually you're setting them up for failure and you setting up the relationship to uh, come to an end. Because if let's say, for example, I just met you. Right. And let's just say I'm texting you 20 times a day and you and never say texting. anything. Like, don't be calling me. And, shit. and you never say anything. And five years from now, you like, hey, I got to I'm going to be looking at you like, what are you like? What changed now? Now you're creating. Situ- what do you think a person it was growth? I mean, people do change over time. But I'm saying, like, if you blow up, I get tired of you texting it, and it's like it's something a person is because this literally happens in relationships. And it's literally something, let's say something that I have been doing to you, texting you for five years, and, and all of a sudden express, express it's a huge feelings. problem. Yes. The person is gonna be looking at you like you're crazy because they created this connection with you. Um, some of it through text and now that's not a connection when all you could have said from the gate is like hey i'm not really the type of person that likes to text like that like i'm not a facetime person yeah don't facetime me um call my phone or text but don't facetime me because i'm not gonna answer it and you set them boundaries at the beginning when somebody first facetime you you let them know no i just don't answer i call them back regular but see that's the same thing you ain't letting them know how do they know they got you the just point. did though. <laughs> you can't assume they got a point. That's just a, a person assuming what no, you, you I know tell what I'm saying? People, I literally, you like, Look, I literally don't tell FaceTime people. me. Just call me. I don't like do FaceTime. A lot of people don't FaceTime me, but when the people do the FaceTime me, I tell them. I just asked that. You said no. Because you it's not, it's not shit something. And no, it's not something that <laughs> happens all the time. People don't FaceTime no. me like that because they know my personality. So basically, um, communicate. Well, I guess that's falling apart of communication on what you like and what you don't like and setting your boundaries. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't setting your boundaries, you can't expect a person later in the game, you switch that shit up. And then sometimes, um, to be honest with you, it may not be a boundary in the beginning. Like, for example, we met when I was 13, you were 13, right? So there was boundaries that weren't there that may now be here at 41. And so I think that that's a conversation too. Like in love languages change, yes. Um, yes. you know, what your love language was at 20 may not be what your love language is at 25. And that's okay too, as long as you communicate it. So do you really believe this love language is really like really a key to something? I think it's a key to a successful relationship, understanding how your mate wants to receive love. And it may not even be any of the love language that society you know, put as the main love languages. It may be something as as simple as I just want you to cut the grass. But I still ask of service. But it could be something that's not on the list. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes. I yes. just think you have to know your mate um and know who they are to understand how they receive love because you can't give it you could give it, but it's not gonna p- penetrate anything if it's not something that's well received. It's like you could get up here and speak, but if I don't like it, you just spoke. Yeah, I agree. Cause I, you could tell me you love me. I don't. I don't want to hear that. I want to see see the action. And that's why I'm a quality time person because I feel like quality time is action. You could tell me something all day long. That's words, right? But words without action to me means nothing. I like words in a form of like um, um. I like stuff I could go back and look back on. Like I journal a lot. I have journals some man since I was like. 20 we were talking about our letters we had saved all our letters that we wrote to each other um that was before texting it was it was writing letters passing it through classrooms and shit but i really <laughs> sit back and i'll go back and i'll reflect on different things that i have written or people wrote me so that's like big to me um because i think it i don't know i just like to basically keep stuff like that i think it's important i think it documents time of where you were in certain phases of your life um, it's kind of like what people do now with like documenting in video. Yeah, yeah, you could go back and see how you was living, where you where the growth came in at, how you changed. I think it's good to document.
Yeah, but quality time is. Quality time is with I'm your I'm listening kid. at the TV in the background. I know you, you just all turn start it off. Track. You want me to close that door? Yeah, you might because it might pick up through the mic. It already is. Yeah, so um, she's stuck on quality time. If you want to get to her, you gotta get quality time. <laughs> you giving another man she your had, blueprint? She had to um, close the door because she left the door open. You giving another man your blueprint? If they want to get to me, it's quality time. It's quality time. Wow. You know? <laughs> hey. Hey. The flowers ain't going to work. Them edibles ain't going to work. Um, the, what's them? Um, the fruit, fruit edible arrangements ain't going to work. You like the edible arrangements? I do. Okay. They might work. You already know that, so why? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, back to um the other other topic. So we got communication, we got service, we got um, I don't know what was the other one. What did you say yours were? Mine's was um acts showing acts. I don't like words. Don't talk. Don't say what you're gonna do. Don't say you love me. Don't show me. You know what I'm saying? That's me. And gifts. Gifts is not really no. It's it's just showing me your actions. I believe action speaks. Way you are not value. a gift person because what's your favorite line? I could buy it myself. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I I I, I value personalized gifts. It's not about the value of the gift, but the effort of you making it your own, creating something. You understand what I'm saying? You already know. I understand. Okay, but we on a podcast. It's not about <laughs> what the hell you already know, but you understand, like shit. <laughs> This, no, because I was about to say something, but I was like, no, I ain't going to say it. I'm just trying to filter herself. So basically, I'm not filtering it. It's just, to me, that's another thing in relationships. I just really don't think you should give somebody the blueprint to your your man or your woman. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me how people talk about um, sexual, their their sex life. With diff- like, I would never discuss my bedroom. It's like, why would you, why would you want to know? Because they feel like they're bragging. Nah, you like you just saying? giving like, somebody the people, blueprint yeah, to your. I people don't feel like they bragging. It's a brag. Like if you really love someone, I just think that's not smart. Not to say that I'm worried about somebody coming to grab you, because clearly I'm not. Um, but what, I, oh, I'm, I'm not valuable. Shit, I ain't, not. <laughs> I ain't a Kobe on the team. What the fuck? Hold on. You're definitely a no. Kobe, but Shit. at the end of the day, I'm Jordan. So you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like if you get snatched, I, I'm know. not worried about it. At the- she's Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> she's she gonna pull the she's a Jordan on my ass, huh? Like no, nah, okay. but seriously, like if you could be took, then nah. I think a lot of people stress over that, and I, yeah, I, I feel I, like I if you stress over that, that's you giving the enemy room to feed your mind with bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's already doubt there. If you got to doubt a person, it's like, why waste your time? If you got to check their phone, check their email, put a tracker on their car, why are you wasting your time? You just babysitting an adult. And, uh, you know, my whole thought about that. People babysit their man more than they babysit their, their kids. kids. Yes. Like, that's how you should be in these kids' phones. But either way, no, I just feel like even not trying to be arrogant or cocky, like, that's that goes to knowing who you are in a relationship. So... If you step out or you do something, because I know who I am and whose I am at this point, like, that's your loss. I I'm do. not about to sit here and like, oh. When you know you are a value, you don't put up with shit. Basically, because you know what you bring to the table. And in my opinion, I am the table. Okay? The that's, chairs. That's great. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to clarify this shit. She's the table. She's the chairs. I'm the house. <laughs> Oh, yeah. okay. How about that? God damn it. Oh, you <laughs> trying to talk about Jordan comments. You can no. have your little table in my house. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. No, but I'm serious. Like, you should know the value that you bring to a relationship. And I think when you know your worth, it's like it's just certain stuff you're not going to accept. But that's also learning who you are and before think, you enter and, into and a relationship. And I think knowing your worth falls in all type of relationships. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You're just not going to put up with shit because you know your worth. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about friendships, all kinds of relationships. And you know your worth is it's very powerful. You ain't going to put up with a lot of shit. No, that's when you get to cutting people off. But I think you should give people the opportunity to correct their mistake before cutting them off. But once I tell you, and it's a continued thing, I'm done. Like even with friendships, I think, um, I mean, we grown, most of my friends are married. We all have lives. Most of them have businesses. Most of them, you know, they doing their thing. So 
you're not going to talk to your friends all the time. And I think the ones that do, you probably don't have much to do. Um, but when you are living life and you have your own family, of course, you're not going to be able to connect all the time. Now, let's say since you I'm brought not finished. Well, then hurry up. Spit it out. Shit. God damn. <laughs> because I yeah, forgot she lost what I track. My point exactly. It goes, wasn't important. <laughs> my point exactly. Shit. No, no, time. No, 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 She's no, taking no, up no, my no. time. Okay. That's, that's shit. What... <laughs> God damn it. What I was about to say was, um, it's that when, you know, when you, when someone is your friend or you value someone, you value the time that you spend with them. And so to me, you can't say you're my friend. You can't say, um, we, we, we rock like that. If time is not invested, because the only way you'll get to know a person and really connect and grow with a person is with investing time. Yes. But that also become a problem if you marry. You know what I'm saying? Because if you invest in all this time with your friend, I didn't say all this time, it, 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 it's taken away from. You know what I'm saying? That time is being taken away. So is this friendship really worth it? Putting all this time in? You know what I'm saying? So it's like you taking away from the house. You feel me? From what your you your spouse. You taking your time away from your spouse and your kids that you're investing in a friend. You understand? You you only got a hundred percent of time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you start breaking you that shit off, you yeah, you only you start breaking that shit off in percentages. Their friend is getting a certain percentage of time, and who knows how long that friend be around. What? Okay, so let me. So ask I'm you. saying you the time is to getting taken away when you start pouring your time. Now, say you have multiple friends, you pouring time into time into time. This is all taken away from your spouse and your kids. What do you think about that? But don't your spouse have friends? Shit, I don't know. I, listen, I don't, I don't think it's healthy for your whole life to revolve around your husband and kids. I think that's unhealthy. I do think you should have, I think you should have family goals. I think you should have relationship goals together, but I think you need individual goals. And I think you need to have outlets outside of your mate. Like we spend a lot of time together, but I also think is it's kind of like talking to the same person all the time. That's cool. But you also need dialogue with other people. So if I, if I stayed in one city my whole life, it's like, what am I going to learn outside of that city? So if I talk to the same people all the time, what am I learning? Cause most likely it's probably the same conversations. And so even though you're in a relationship, I think that's an unhealthy habit to only have your life revolve around your husband and your kids, because your kids are going to grow up one day with their own lives. And I've seen so many women that their whole life is invested in their kids. And when they get older, they messy, they in their kids' business, is drama, because you haven't created a life with outside yes. of your kids. And then your mate, not to say, I, I pray that y'all stay together forever, but what if you don't? That reminds me of like those friends, they get a boyfriend or get a man, you don't hear from them no more. It's like, nah, that's unhealthy. Like you should have other relationships outside of your household. So you should have a certain, basically a certain percentage of time bro broken down. Yeah, I don't think you, know you should spend time with your friends every day if you're yes. in a marriage. I mean, that's unhealthy to me because if you... I used seen, to get mad when I was kicking it every day outside in Lancaster. No. Like I used shit. to get mad... Nigga, why you coming over here? You gay? Like, damn, let the nigga knock on my I door did not like say, shit. I nigga, like, why are you coming <laughs> over here? I asked him politely, are you gay? Do you like guys? And this is why I asked the like question. Shit. Like, damn, this I can't is, have friends? This is like why shit. I asked the question. So... The two dudes that were well, one dude that would knock on my door every single day had a girl and had two kids. So if you knocking on my door all day long for my husband, you must not be happy at home every day. But you said, you know, you got to have nah, friends and, and break that, them and out. That, and that's unhealthy. And that's <laughs> unhealthy. It's like. You want to call my husband. I remember it was nighttime. I was cooking dinner. We was ba basically about to eat. And you had my, so at that point, I'm like, dude, but you was in there laughing. You didn't tell me to stop saying it because you was probably thinking the same thing. Yeah, don't, I, I uh, it used to bug me. Niggas constantly hitting my door like shit. Let's smoke. Like, if I want to smoke, I'd be out there smoking. Because this is the thing, like, and that's where I was going with that. I've seen people that they, they supplement a friend or a person to fulfill what their mate is not feeling. And so I've seen people that they'll have people live with them or they're always with their girlfriends or always hanging out. But it's like, if you marry- It's another relationship or they you in a rela It's an affair. It's an emotional affair to me. Or if you're in a relationship or if you're married and you're basically spending more time with other people than your spouse, then I would have to think something is lacking in your relationship. 
Yes, it's a emotional. You don't want to be there. You get somewhere else. Correct. Even if it's a woman or not, even if you're straight, you don't got to be gay, but you're getting it's fulfilled. It's a friendship. Yeah, yeah you, because. You're getting a fulfillment outside your marriage or your relationship with these and other people. And something is lacking in your relationship that you want. And I trip off that with people. And I be, and, and I've called some people out on it. I'm like, if you keep wanting these people, like, they, okay, I'm the type of person, if you know me, you'll know. If you don't, now you know. Don't come to my house every day. Like that will literally get on my nerves. Do not. The only people that I, think I don't. That's like twenties activity. Why well, it? I, I hated it saying? in my twenties. Yeah. I've never liked it. The only people that come to my house every day that wouldn't get on my nerves is my kids. Do not come to my house every day. I want to see you, but not every single day because there there's times I just want to be by myself. Or I just want to be with my family. And so when I see people that they have people at their house, I'm like, when are you and your mate spend time together? Like there has to be something lacking if you always want other people around. True, I, I must agree with. You. I would I would give a coin on that one, but I ain't I'm on the keyboard. I'm gonna give myself a coin. You know what I'm saying? My like shit. Three coins. Three. Yeah, cents. yeah, that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because people they they have outside relationships, not even realizing. You had a friend that was obsessed with your ass. I told you, like, she, girl, act like she's your girlfriend or something. She and was just no really longer, like, no go longer. sit your ass down. Like she's no longer my. That's crazy. But people will want to suck your time, and just and that's because something was missing in her marriage. Yes, yeah. So um, let's let's maneuver to the next one. Transition. What is what is transition? That's love language transition. <laughs> you said let's maneuver to the next. <laughs> well, you said it, it was like a <laughs> subtitle and shit. Transition, like okay, this is a new love language. No, I'm just saying. Let's shit, we getting sex changes and shit in here. Trans- no, but we only have not that long because I got to go pick up our daughter. Yeah, we got. Come on, we got ten more minutes. Um, because it was communication, service. Oh, we acts, so we're talking about all acts the, and uh, what else? Communication is simple. I think there just needs to be communication. Well, we already covered communication. Words of affirmation is somebody that wants to be built up. That's on building up. And you can have multiple love language, you're saying. Mm-hmm. So if yours is acts of service, what else? Mine's ain't act of service. <laughs> yes, it is. You even said I it. I said is. action. That's acts I of service. I feel like acts of service is like washing the dishes and shit like that. No? You like acts of service. Action. I like to put shit in action. If Don't tell me you love me. Come hold me and hug me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, keep that, that language to yourself. Come hold me. Come hold my hand. So you're an action Come person. squeeze my booty or something. You know what I'm saying? Come squeeze your booty? Yeah, you could pass squeeze my leg like you don't squeeze my booty. <laughs> <laughs> Should uh, I play it what, on the podcast? What? People, what that's, what's, what's, what's wrong with your wife squeezing your booty? And that's what the problem. Everybody <laughs> think everything <laughs> is, is kind of fruity and shit. Oh, I cannot. That's what she's thinking. Like, what? She knows she be grabbing my ass. So, um... She over here blushing. Look no, I'm just, yes. I'm just, I'm just biting my tongue. She's but blushing. Okay. okay, so um, well, I, I don't know the list of the list of love language. I, I didn't know only, we were going over the list. I just said well, it. people don't know what it is. We, we trying already to said so they it. Got identify with their self. Physical touch. Okay, physical touch. Acts y'all. of service, communication, gifts, quality time. Did I say words of affirmation? I think so. So that's six. Let me look at the. So you all these Google it. Y'all go Google love love language and get some information and, and find out what's your your relationship, your person you into, what their love language is, and even that love language could go with your friends too, your parents. You know what I'm saying? I think love language is every relationship. Um, because again, quality time just doesn't. It's not just defined for you. Even with my kids, and they know. They buy me gifts, but I always tell them I don't. I don't want your money. I don't want your gifts. She just... wants you to come sit over here and sit and look at her. No, I will talk to my kids. We will talk about everything under the sun. We will talk about life goals, their stressors, just just life, and that's how I love to connect with my kids. We just come over and we'll sit and talk and just spend time together. I will give you a coin on that one, but I have the keyboard. What was the coin for, though? Because I'm saying that I like to spend time with my no, kids. I just wanted to see if you was going to push it because I said it. No, you That's didn't. called control. 
Now, one thing that if you know about me, con- somebody controlling me will never now, happen. Now, let's take it. Let's take it outside of this. It's like, what if the person you with likes certain type of shit? Like what? Is it the the other person's job to fulfill that? Like what? You know what I'm saying? I think there's compromise, but like what? There's certain things that just that is off the table. So compromise is a key key. Some term. things are not a compromise for me. Like some things, absolutely not a compromise. Like if you ever was like, oh, let's do a threesome. Psh, that's not a compromise. Like that's never gonna happen. So what? Like what, what the hell type of threesome coming? Because I'm thinking, what type of things two guys are you and you? Shit, what this broke back mountain and shit. What the hell going on? What type of things are you talking about? Like you say, yo, yo. I was thinking more dominatrix. Like your man want to get. I knew spanked. that's what like, I was you know saying. saying. I was get, thinking you was talking about like something, something sexual. So it depends and, on what it is. I think everybody has how far they'll go. Some people will go all the way, and some people are like, nah, that's not an option. So if it's not an option, you you would say that relationship is is kind of pointless, because then that person would go and try to find it outside, which will fuck up the relationship. Well, if you find it something outside because someone told you that they don't want to do that, I think you would have to question what you're in a relationship for, anyways. Or just find, yeah, you got because it's selfish. Like for example, somebody I always hear guys like, "Oh, let's do a threesome." They obviously talking about their girl themselves and another woman, right? But I, okay, I'll put it like this. If you're not, I think, don't ask what you're not willing to do. So if you're not willing to do two guys, uh, you, her, and another guy, don't ask. Because I think many times people are selfish. They're looking for gratification and fulfillment for themselves, regardless of how it makes the other person feel. But I believe in don't ask what you're not willing to do. Mm, you get that makes things that yeah. simple. It's, it's even saying, yeah, I agree. Don't, you don't need to ask somebody to do something that you ain't willing to do. I agree. Yeah, if that, you ain't going to give me a million, way. don't ask me for a million. If you ain't, if you ain't got no money to, for me to borrow, don't ask. I just feel like if you're not willing to do it, don't ask somebody else to do it. Ah, yeah. Because don't come to my house asking for sugar if you ain't going to give me no sugar. And it's the one thing if you don't have it to give, but you know that's just not in your nature. You're a selfish person. So, you shouldn't, and I see people do that selfish all the time. Selfish people always, I don't know, this is like the main people that are always asking for shit is selfish people. I don't understand that. It's like they selfish as hell, but always asking for shit. Because you just answered, you just said the answer. They're selfish, so they don't like, care that they're crazy. asking. But you, you can wrap this on up, though. Um, you know, I got I have work to do and shit. <laughs> Laying the bed. He got he got his hip. He got I his gotta hip. Go lay in my bed. Pop some perks. His hip replaced, and so he has nothing to do but lay in the bed for like what a week. I don't know. He said three days. He said you got to walk. I don't know. Did but you, you do can your walking today? No, I got to go down do it today downstairs. But um, you can wrap it up. Until next time, as we always say. Grind face. No, that ain't what we say. <laughs> Continue to break cycles. Uh, Grind face.